Some of this lens. Devin finally graduated! Oh shit! Dude, it's totally just a breakfast place and that's it. They got <laughs> some like, I'm pretty sure they offer salmon. <laughs> I don't know if you should get I'm it there, salmon. but... Or anything at Village Inn, I'm not getting salmon. That's so deep frozen. I guarantee they have it, though. It's just, like, in the freezer. <laughs> I'm going to chop this mango up, because... It's like a pyramid scheme. I want to. <laughs> okay, yeah. just, like, we're just trying to... So, it's not ripe. That wasn't bad, it was kind of sweet. We're gonna go move a fish tank! That would be... Time from the inside? A time from inside of the tank filling up. Way cool. Okay, so there was a fish tank right here, and uh, we're moving it out. We had this awesome idea of instead of filling up the buckets, we kind of just took the, the hose and poured it down there. Good thing there's no... Uh, good thing there was no basement to flood, but these guys are all ready for transport. now. they're stressed really, really badly. So we added a stress coat, just in case. And we're ready to go here. Internet trolls. Oh! Safety first. Bar is raised. Back is closed. Doors are completely unlocked. What does he want? Pain in the hitch. Should be a good idea. We're gonna set this thing up. Sorry about the terrible lighting and sound, I had to get away from things. Um, we're moving my friend Devin's stuff around and setting up his fish tank, and I'm trying to close on my lease, but there is so many little things that are going into play, and with multiple different people and communicating, it's becoming stressful, and I wanted to take a second to talk about something that's on my mind right now. Um, we're going to talk about saying you want something versus doing whatever it takes to get something, and I'm not going to elaborate too much. I have another, uh, I've got to get back to my stuff, but I wanted to just get my thoughts out, and I thought that this was, or why not use this medium, this is what this is there here for, to portray what's ever in my mind, to really get my ideas digitally out. And this seems to have worked a lot better than just writing it down. I can actually talk them out, and I don't know, I'm comfortable with this right now. I've always had respect for those people that ride trains, ride bikes, take public transportation for instance because they are willing to do whatever it takes, and they're not worried about what other people think. They're more worried about their goals. They're doing whatever it takes to get them to their goals. And you know what, if going out on a Tuesday and driving your car, which is a waste of gas, if there are more efficient paths to take to your goals, then those should be the ones. But obviously we get distracted along the way, and we want to have fun, we want to live our life, and that's understandable. But it's interesting to see the separation of people that want something, excuse me, the people that say they want something versus the people that don't even need to say it, and they just do. Plenty of students at universities and larger schools doing whatever it takes to get their education, to get the education that they wanted to get them past that point. They're doing the grime work now to get to the jobs that they want, to work for the jobs they want. Even like, for instance, my grandparents, when they came over here, they had nothing to them. I think my grandfather landed in California with $100 in his pocket, and somehow he had to get to Kansas City. I can't remember. I will find that information out 
ASAP because that should be a lot more important to me about those details. The thing is, he spent maybe forty dollars, a good portion of the only money he had, to get to the place where he needed to be to start his life in a new country. And he met he met my grandmother at the time, and they did whatever it took. They did whatever it took to survive and live and get to the get to a more comfortable point. They they would take all the public transportation. They they would walk. They would work multiple jobs, and that. There's a level of respect that I have for that. There's a huge level of respect, excuse me, that I have for those that do whatever it takes in the background without even needing to boast to get to where they want. That is something I truly do respect. I hope this wasn't weird. I'm glad I got to get that out. It probably didn't make sense. I'll try to elaborate later if I can get back to it. But thank you for listening. Okay, so it's like 8.45. I didn't even realize it's that late. I've been doing work and vlog stuff. And Mike asked if I wanted a 5 hour energy, and he got me one. This is a 5 hour energy. And then Devin also got me some energy. <laughs> Devin over here spent $12 buying three little bottles of vodka and a Red Bull when he could have just spent $20 on vodka for all of us. I know that, that's not right. It does smell exactly like syrup. And here we go. But the games and it feels so good. <laughs> I love this song, actually. It's very bright and happy. Happy birthday, Devin. You wanna try that? My birthday Ooh, is in two weeks. Birthday's in two weeks? Well, it's the beginning of June, isn't it? With Waterloo Day.